How much are you going to pay me for doing your job? Ha <laughs> ha. $5,000. Okay. For $5,000, you get the Deluxe Mental Hospital Tour. Stop kidding around. <laughs> kidding around is kidding around. But it makes them feel good that we're all pals. See, we're the prisoners, they're the guards, and it's all in good fun, you see? Oh, here's the games, man, but games vegetize you. You play the games, you're voluntarily taking a tranquilizer. What'd they give you, man? Thorazine? Man, how much? Know your drugs, know your doses. Ah, telephone calls, man? That is communication with the outside world, and that is strictly doctor's discretion. Hell, man, if all these nuts in here can make phone calls, it could spread. It'd be like insanity oozing through the telephone cables, oozing into the ears of all those poor, sane people, infecting them. It'd be wackos everywhere, a plague of madness. Plague of madness. In fact, very few of us here are actually mentally ill. I'm not saying you're not mentally ill, man. For all I know, you could be as crazy as a loon. But that's not why you're here. You're here because of the system, because of the economy. TV, man, it's all there. Commercials. We're not productive anymore. They don't need us to make things anymore. It's all automated. So what are we good for then, huh? We're consumers, okay? Buy a lot of stuff, and you're a good citizen. Don't buy a lot of stuff, and guess what? You're mentally ill, and that's a fact. If you don't buy things like cars, and computerized blenders, and toilet paper, and electronically operated sexual devices, Screwdrivers with miniature built-in radar devices, stereo systems with brain-implanted headphones, and voice-activated computers, and... Become. Okay, okay, seriously. More and more people are being defined as mentally ill. Why? Because they're not consuming on their own. And as patients, they become consumers of mental health care. And this gives the so-called sane people some work. Woo! <laughs> Woo, man, can you feel it? Shock therapy, group therapy, hallucinations, therapeutic drugs, iggity diggity dig, man, perfect. The whole system in harmony like a big machine. Last one. Woo, right, 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 man, calm down, calm down. Got carried away explaining the interworkings of the institution. Oh, it's all right there on the TV, man, but you gotta listen to me. It's all lies. You gotta consider the possibility that God does not like you. He never wanted you. In fact, in all probability, he probably hates you. But this isn't the worst thing that can happen to you. The lies of the TV have manufactured an entire generation of pumping gas and waiting tables. They've created slaves and white collars. Advertisements have us chasing cars and clothes and working jobs we hate so we can buy shit we don't need. We are the middle children of history with no purpose or place. We have no great war, we have no great depression. The great war is a spiritual war. The great depression is our lives. We were raised by television to believe we were gonna be millionaires and movie gods and rock stars, but we won't. And we're starting to learn that fact. And we are very, very pissed off.